Hey everyone, this is Matt and Peg coming to you from Faith Evangelistic Center, Leavenworth, Kansas. Peg is my videographer. Not young. I think she likes that job. She just says, here, give me the camera. You, you do the speech. <laughs> That's kind of how it goes sometimes. Uh, many of you who do not know me, my name is Paul Gilmore. Uh, I hang out with a teddy bear named Peg, uh, speaking out for depression awareness. Uh, and um, we have, we believe that God has uh, uh, called us into this ministry uh we're not trying to reach everybody, but we're trying to reach the right people. Uh, because there are some people out there, you know, they'll do it, they'll, they'll see this and they'll go, hey, you know, I can understand what that guy's talking about. Or we can understand what that lady's talking about. Uh, or we can understand what he's doing with these bears. Uh, and you know what? And when you do those things, it's because God is speaking to your heart. Uh, I want to talk to you about something else about the Lord speaking to your heart. If any of you have been following my videos this year, uh, we have had a uh, scripture uh, basis for our videos this year, the search for the Yeti, and that is this, that a man will design in his heart the way he shall go, but the Lord will guide his steps. Now, here, now here I want you to just understand this, you know, we all, you know, when we're in ministry like I am and like many of you are, we just move forward in God, you know, sometimes we're just like, you know what, I'm just going to believe God and move forward, you know, that's called uh, of going uh, in the way that you know you've designed your heart to go that way and that's the way you're going to go and you're just going to say I'm going to let God take me where it goes and that's the second half of Proverbs 69 that the Lord will guide your steps for those of you who have been following my videos you know I've been kind of missing the last couple of weeks uh, I've been trying to put stuff out there but I'll tell you what it's just been difficult and uh, I, I had a plan for what I was going to be doing for the second half of our theme and but I've been Lord you got to help me here you know and we all know what's going on COVID-19 has played a role in that and and I've been having to uh, I've been having to really trust the Lord and and same time uh, be doing what I feel is on my heart that the Lord wants me to do well uh, and that's pretty much happened uh, why there's been a breakdown it's because the Lord has uh, I've been depending on the Lord to guide me uh, into the next step because we really want to get out there and we know what we want to do but uh, but believe it or not we've got to do it the right way and we, we was trying to figure out how we was going to set up our location and how we was going to do everything and then you know what the Lord uh, put me in a unique position and he said I want you to see something and he took me to this place and uh, and you know what it's perfect for the second half of our story and so, uh, you know, and the person uh, said, hey, you want to use that for your ministry? Go right ahead. You know, you want to, you know, do what you got to do out there. He says, go right ahead. He said, just be careful of posing Ivy. And I'll tell you what, you know, uh, well, we will. But uh, so, uh, so this is what I truly believe. And I want to share this with you that uh, I have designed perfectly in my heart the way this whole thing is supposed to go. But I've also been allowing the Lord to guide my steps, and this time the Lord took guidance. And when the Lord is guiding me, I've learned to back up, let him do what he wants to do, and that's what I'm doing. And maybe it's happening, and for your guys' sake too, because there's people out there that need this pause. Uh, there's people out there that need to go, okay, we need to step back for a minute. We need to just think, absorb everything in. Or maybe we're waiting for the right people to listen to the next set of the story. You know what? God knows what he's doing. Uh, a good man uh, said one time about me hanging out my bear several years ago, talking to another uh, Christian minister, minister, and he said this. He said, you know, I, he says, I get it. It's weird. And he said, but you know what? He says, that man knows what he's doing with that bear, and God knows what he's doing with that bear. And he says, what you need to do is worry about what you're supposed to be doing for God. And <laughs> that's the way it's been going ever since I started hanging out with faith. I want to just close with this. Um, you know what? God has called you into ministry. And some of you are working ministry right now. He said, I want you to go work this ministry. Remember, it's his. You know, sometimes, even I have, can get so caught up in this is my ministry. I know where I'm going with this. And we, sometimes we don't take time out to listen to God. Take time out to listen to God. You've designed in your heart the way that this is supposed to go, and it's okay. But give God the room to guide you. Because you're on the right path for where you're probably going, and I'm not going to say you're not. But along that path, God is going to splinter you off for a reason. 
okay? And when God splinters you off, sometimes you just got to go with it because that's the Lord guiding your steps. Remember I told you about, about following your compass and, and how you got to set your direction, set your destination, and you need to, uh, uh, and, and you're supposed to follow it. And remember what we learned about declination, that you can declinate off your path. Well, you know what? Sometimes God will also speak to you and say, you're here. And he will show you this. Remember how we talked about God will show you signs. You, you, when, you're, when you're out and you're lost or, or, or disoriented, you got to look for human signs. you got to look for, sometimes you got to look for God signs as well. And when God gives you a sign, and sometimes you just got to be like, all right, God, I'm just going to follow it. Because his, his word says that faith is the substance of things so forth, the evidence of things not seen. And, you know, God is pleased when we step out by faith for him. And that's what we all got to do, including me. I don't know who this video is supposed to be for tonight. Uh, and I don't know why. But I know God loves you. I know God cares about you. He's got a plan for you. And even though you have designed in your heart the way you should go, and that's a good thing, because Proverbs 69 says, man will design his heart the way he should go, but the Lord will guide his steps. So as you're moving forward in the ministry uh, that you're working for God, remember, allow God to guide your steps. Because if you allow him to guide you, he will turn you in the direction that you need to go, even though you may not realize it, but you got to go that direction because you know God's taking you there. Run with it. Go with it. God's got a purpose. He's got a reason why you're there. He's got a reason. Let him be that reason. This is Matt and Peg coming to you from Leavenworth, Kansas, saying, please be safe, be smart, have a purpose, and let God be a part of your, that purpose for your life. You have a good night.